Hey guys, Jano Zero. Uh, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land out there. Uh, first of all, let me say Happy Father's Day to, uh, to all the fathers out there in the world, fathers and stepfathers, and anybody who is uh, taking it upon themselves to raise children. Um, happy day to you. Uh, today is uh, naturally it's Father's Day. Um, the mid morning, noonish time, whatever time it is, uh, coffee chat uh, to answer some questions. Holy crap, that's some good coffee. Uh, first, let me say thank you to uh, everybody for all the well wishes uh, about my shoulder healing. It is starting to finally feel a little bit better. I'll get back to myself. I'll get back to my normal self. And uh, just, you know, you, uh, when you get a mechanical injury like that, you just about all you can do is just, uh, you know, take it as easy as you can and, and give your time, give yourself time to heal. Unfortunately, when you when you run a homestead uh, the way that we do, and uh, you have a lot going on, it's hard to give yourself that time that you need to heal. You've always got something to do, especially now when the uh, the summer's on us. And we gotta, you know, swing the sickle and keep the weeds down, especially the bad weeds that you don't want, you know, the iron weeds and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, it's just, uh, it takes a it takes a toll on your body after a while, and there's not really a whole lot you can do. All you can do is all you can do, you know. So, but like I said, we'll uh, we're getting out. It's starting to feel better, and uh, I thank everybody for the well wishes. Uh, somebody asked what kind of a camera I use for my video and the editing software. Uh, my camera is a Canon FS300. Um, my friend Fred Hart sent it to me uh, a couple of years ago uh, because the camera that I was using before to make videos just wasn't it wasn't very good camera. So Fred uh, Fred Hart over at the Gear Obsession Channel, thank you, Fred, sent me this camera that I use now, and uh, and I like it and it works really good. And uh, I. You know, I don't have you know money to go out and get a big fancy camera, and I wouldn't ruin. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do with one anyway. The editing software that I use for my videos is just a the YouTube editor. I just take little clips, and then the YouTube editor, I put them together and 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 put it out. A lot of my videos are just I just turn the camera on and do what I'm doing or say what I'm saying, and uh, and that's it. So uh, nothing fancy, just basic, simple stuff. Uh, Shorty, hi, Lynn. Hi, Shorty. Uh, she wants to know how tall I am. So my height and weight, I am um, about 6'2", and I am I carry about right around 300 to 310 ish pounds. Um, that's my height and my weight. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, a lot of folks say I don't look like I weigh that much, but I'm pretty thick, um, and uh, this is what it is. You know, that's that's what I am. So um, some folks mentioned in my uh, on my EDC video that uh, I used to carry a 40 caliber and I've now switched to a 9 millimeter, which is true. I sold my uh, Smith & Wesson um, 40 caliber uh, mainly because of the ammunition situation here in my particular area. It's easier for me to find 9 millimeter ammunition uh, than it is to find 40 caliber ammunition. Um, and my roommate Mary, she also has a 9 millimeter. So rather than trying to keep up with the 40 caliber ammunition situation uh, it's uh, was easier for me to switch to a nine millimeter uh, and uh, that way we've got ammo to practice with and uh, it's a little bit more cost efficient ammo wise that was the reason why I switched to the nine millimeter um, somebody had asked where we get the where we get our meat rabbits and, and what breeds of meat rabbits that we have the ones that I, the, the, the rabbits that I used in the uh, the sexing video, whenever I was uh, showing the sex of the rabbits, those are a breed called Mini Rex, and those are sold primarily for pet pets. They're people who are looking to have bunnies for their kids as pets. They're not a very big rabbit. Um, if there comes a time where we don't, you know, we can't sell the bunnies, uh, nobody's looking for anything like that, then yeah, we won't waste them. We'll, we'll, we'll butcher and eat them. But our meat rabbits are, we have a New Zealand California cross, we have a Champagne d'Argent, we have uh, a Flemish Giant, and we have a couple of San Juans. The San Juan doe, she's getting really, really old, so it's going to be time for her to go away after this last litter that she has. And uh, we'll have our Flemish Giant and our New Zealand Cross uh, as our primary meat does. And we're going to be looking to get another one 
or keep one out of the litters as a third doe. Uh, I like to have three does and two bucks. Uh, that way we can uh, have lots of babies going on and different, uh, you know, different uh, litters breeding with different bucks and so on and so forth. Usually we get them, um, we, we, we find people uh, on Craigslist and Facebook who also do meat rabbits uh, and usually you can buy one of their kits uh, or work out a trade with them. If somebody's got a doe that they need to uh, rotate out and get another doe, then you can trade with them your does. But there are groups on uh, on Facebook and Craigslist who uh, who have meat rabbits. At least in our area, I'm not saying that that's everywhere in the world, but in our area, anyway, we have there's quite a few folks that do meat rabbits that we keep in touch with uh, where we get them. Also, um, our tractor supply here local has once a month they have an animal swap, and you can usually find decent meat rabbit breeds there. So, all I know is about what happens in our area. I can't say that that happens in your area. But uh, it may be a place to start looking at. Anyway. Um, oh, somebody asked, they said that when they came home, uh, they had a rainstorm and they came home and their rabbits were wet and dead. Rabbits, uh, rabbits are really, really uh, susceptible to hypothermia. Usually a cold, wet rabbit equals a dead rabbit. That's just my experience. Now keep in mind, I'm not some expert rabbit dude or rabbitologist or whatever the hell people who are expert on rabbits are called. Um, but it's been my experience anyway that cold rabbits, especially cold and wet rabbits, are usually dead rabbits. Uh, they get sick real easy. They're pretty fragile. So uh, just try to make sure that you're your rabbit cage area is uh, is covered uh, where they don't get wet and um, and that's about the best you can do uh, try to keep them warm in the winter and keep them cool in the summer I got my little solar fans those little computer fans hooked up to a solar panel uh, on our hutches that way when the Sun comes up the fan kicks on and it keeps the rabbits cool we'll take frozen bottles of water and stick them on there in the days uh, when it's really really hot uh, that way they can lay up against the cool water and the, and, and the cool uh, bottle and the air blows across them, and uh, and it keeps them cool, and it works out. It works out really well for us, and it doesn't take any energy. Uh, I think those solar panels are like 50 bucks or something like that, and they'll run about five or six of them computer fans, so you can have five or six hutches, you know, hooked up to one panel. And that's just like I say, that's just what we do uh, for our for our rabbits. So um, I will be doing a. Um, an update here maybe this afternoon on the pheasants we did have a bit of an issue with the pheasants and I'll get into that uh, in the video and show you what we did to try to stem that um, other than that we got uh, you know we got gardening going on right now we're trying to grow as much as we can I'm really concentrating on keeping our gardens healthy and uh, and productive uh, just because the simple fact you know food prices are going to go way up and who knows how high they're going to go up now, who knows how high fuel prices are going to go up now with Iraq. It's got a whole bunch of new crap going on over there. Uh, we just, you know, we never know what the future is going to hold. So I'm really, uh, really hoping that these gardens uh, produce a lot and we get really, really good harvests so that we can uh, preserve it and store it to, to make sure that we get through the fall, the winter, and the early spring of next year. Uh, we try to be as self-sufficient as we can, you know, with it being homesteaders. Uh, we try to provide and produce for ourselves. I still don't have the materials together to finish a hog lot, so it probably won't be something that I do until next spring now just because I don't want to be wintering hogs. That's, uh, uh, it's possible to do, but uh, you know, trying to, trying to raise hogs over the winter time is a lot more difficult than it is to try to raise spring pigs and them versus fall pigs. So, But anyway, um, there you have it. Yeah, uh, somebody asked about my the book that I mentioned that I may write. I'm still working on it. Um, when I get a chance, I'll go in there and I'll, I'll write a little bit. And it's just it's not some you know going to be some expertly written thing. I'm just a dude. I'm using just a dude language. There's not going to be anybody who edits edits the book or anything like that. Um, it'll just be me telling y'all what happened and what I did and how I made it through and how we still make it through every day. And, and once you do it for a while, it becomes a lot easier. It just becomes routine. Uh, to you know, get up in the morning and do your chores and and uh, and just keep everything going the best you can um, with you know little little bit of income. It's, it is possible to do um, because I've done it and I, like I always say, you know, and I and I really really truly believe this, y'all. When I say if I can do it, you can do it. I really really truly believe that and mean it because I ain't nothing special. 
I am, like I always say, I'm just a dude, you know, just, just a regular normal dude like everybody else out there in the world, just normal folks. Uh, and so anything that I can do, um, you guys can do it as well. There's because nothing that I do is, you know, stupendous and it's not nothing hard. You know, I don't have any education as far as, you know, extra education goes. You know, I don't have a advanced degree in hyperbolic topology or that kind of crap, whatever that, if that's even a real thing. So, uh, yeah, and I really believe that whenever I say that, I, I really do believe that, uh, because it's true. So, uh. There you have it, guys. Um, happy Father's Day again. I uh, really appreciate all the, uh, the, uh, the the views and the subscribers. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, this is, you know, this is what it is. My channel is just about what we do around here, um, and that's pretty much it. Have a good time, enjoy life, because life is way too short to be grumpy and crappy all the time. So, oh, we're gonna have a 10,000 subscriber, uh, 10,000 subscriber giveaway, appreciation giveaway. Um, we're I don't even know what the subscriber count is now. I'm at 9,000 something something. Um, but whenever we hit the the, the 10,000 ish mark, uh, and I'll get a little bit of uh, resources saved up, then we'll do a we'll do a, a giveaway appreciation giveaway to subscribers. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it should be a really good one, I hope. And uh, other than that, you guys, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, Y'all have a great day. May God bless each and every one of you. And uh, the end. Buzz, buzz, the end.